So this is our room. We're stopping in a duplex room because there's five of us. So the good thing about the duplex room is it's technically two rooms in one. So this is the downstairs. It's where the kids are staying because there's three of them. So you come into here, you've got a bathroom, dressing area, three beds. It's a queen size and two singles. TV, there's nothing much on TV, but then again, you won't really need it. Shed loads of bloody water. When we first came, you had a um, bottle of Fizzy Orange and a bottle of Pepsi as well on the chill. And then they have the balcony, which comes out into this. Is that road I was mentioning before? There is a bit of road noise, but you, you quickly just get over it. And then, like I say, it's a duplex room, so you've got this stair all going up. There's no door to get in from the outside in, from the corridor outside into here, but there is a lockable door, which makes it all self-contained. Walking wardrobe, another bathroom, You've got a queen size and a single up here. TV doesn't work. Another. Stop by. We've still got the Pepsi in that, but all the water's downstairs. Dressing area, and then like a a Vilux type window. The thing is with this, because they expected the kids to be staying in here, they've put a lock on it. Now we could have asked for it to be taken off so you can actually open this window fully, but. There was no reason to, so we weren't going to be in here a lot. So that's the room. Um, I'll probably have it where I start walking around the hotel next, so I'll see you in a minute. Well, this is the entrance. The entrance that the uh, transfer coaches all take is through there. What the hell? And get to the main entrance itself. Okay, the main entrance. This is one of the first pools that you see when you come through the door. It's um, like a pirate ship. You'll have seen it on probably a lot of the videos that you've been looking at. A couple of slides. The water temperature is about 28, 29 degrees. They, they actually heat it, which is brilliant. I went to Mallorca last year. The water was freezing. So to have it just like lukewarm, but it's not, it's just, just below lukewarm is fantastic for me and the kids so all good stuff yes two two or three small slides there two larger slides there you've got a cake shop Madeline patisseries uh, cakes and coffee so you've got coffee machines there but you've got the guys over there that'll make you like lattes etc um, I'll try to get a picture when all the cakes come up but uh, yeah, when I first saw the videos online, because they were sort of in a foreign language, I assumed that you had to pay for this. No, all inclusive means all inclusive. First night I um, used it, with the quality of the cakes and the coffees, I was waiting on my wallet out, and they just didn't take any money from me. It's excellent, although I do recommend tipping. A bit of a closer look at the uh, kids' pirate ship. You got 
restaurants over here that if you come in late at night they serve up to one o'clock in the morning that's where we went when we arrived um, it's, it's what it is decent stuff pizzas burgers things like that but you've got salads and a lot of nationalities are catered for you there's loads of swimming pools um, yeah over there you can see like a, a beach hut that's uh, one of the bars that uh, you can get your cocktails from they'll mix the cocktails by hand it's not by machine and uh, pretty lethal if I'm being honest I've been teetotal for the past four days I'll let you figure out why okay hang on we'll better turn around so you can actually see what that is yeah there's not usually parrots here but we've, we've come on a day where there's parrots that's a, a large outside eating area massive inside eating area this is the main restaurant the breakfast lunch and uh, dinner are served obviously you've got lots of snack bars around uh, sun terrace this is a continuation of the pool where the uh, pirate ship is so a massive pool and this while we've been here it's hardly ever been used you'll find the occasional person so I think it's mostly families that are here at the moment so they stay around where the uh, slides are for obvious reasons it's, you know, it keeps the kids busy but if you are coming and you don't want to be around families you know if no kids with you this is a nice quiet place there's much more quiet places about which we'll get to later there's a snack bar in there you've got a barbecue there you've got a bar over here you're not going to go hungry or thirsty while you're here actually looking at this our kids are at the other side of the spool I might just go and get the towels and move over here I'll be honest with you with having a walk round I'm discovering places that even I didn't know were here there's a barbecue restaurant here it's not being used obviously at breakfast time but I might pop back at lunch to see if it's uh, if it's in use there's a few things that are still shut whether it's because they're being cleaned refurbished or if it's just early season I'm not too sure yet but well I say not too sure yet I'm going home tomorrow I'll never know if you're not too fond of reptiles might not be the place for you there's quite a few lizards about uh, that's one of the biggest ones I've seen so far usually tiny but it's not a huge lizard but I wouldn't like it on my face <laughs> Well, that's what she said got a few of these juice bars and milkshake places around these aren't a part of the all-inclusive I think they're about three euros three to five euros each um, if you want to change from the machines and what have you that's the main body of the uh, hotel you listen loads of pictures on that if you're looking at coming uh, we're back to the cocktail bar hmm, don't know why loads of coffee stations about plenty of refreshment stations loads of fridges with bottled water in so yeah it's it's well catered for cocktails for kids cocktails for adults pirate ship again obsessed with this thing kids love it and then if you've got small kids which i think this is brilliant little tiny water slides it's undercover so they're well protected a couple of little areas where they have games during the day uh, mini golf you've got pony rides down here which uh, again I don't, I don't know if these are all inclusive or not I'll be honest with you I think these are another thing that you pay for there's quite a few things on site that you do pay for extra but they're not expensive so it's just to add to the experience um, if you're coming in the if you're I don't know if this is for families or just couples but this area down here they've got like uh, I don't know how to describe them really not chalets they look like holiday homes but obviously you, you can you can add your own description to them they probably got their official description online but uh, 
it's lovely and quiet over here. I say quiet, you'll probably notice while I've been filming that there's a lot of road noise, that's because there's a like a bypass or a motorway type thing outside so you do get a lot of traffic noise but it's like anything you hear it long enough it just dulls into the distance but these if you've got one of these little beach houses beach houses that's a better one isn't it you come out your bedroom walk down the steps as you can see you've got your own place to sunbathe and then jump into the pool you got a backfiring car going past, that doesn't help, but whatever. Volleyball court, tennis court. I'm over there, not something that I'm going to get involved in due to the fact that I'm not very athletic and I can't play tennis. Oh. Gangster sniper rifles. So this is the other side of the uh, pirate ship, which is a, a couple of uh, the bigger slides. Again, not fast, definitely kid friendly. I can't emphasise how much a difference it makes to have the water slightly heated, rather than it uh, taking your breath away as soon as you're diving. If sun worshipping isn't your thing, there's definitely a lot of shaded areas. These uh, huts, I've used a couple of times. Again, whether you've seen the other video from Mallorca, I'll uh, just reiterate, I have the ginger jean. I go from white to pink to white. We've got a full spa service. Uh, wife and daughter had massages done. Um, they had no complaints. I think they paid about 50 euros each for one and a one and a half hour massage, I think, or one hour massage. There is an indoor pool. Also, very steamed up. Let's do a flyby. Don't really want to watch people uh, swimming, especially just a bloke on his own walking around filming you. It's dodgy as hell. The temperature in the inside pool is the same as the outside pool. So that'll give you sort of an indication of what we're looking at. It's not warm. It's not cold. Kids area, nice freaky smurfs. There's a guy who's not going to get out of my way so I'm going to pause it and walk around him. Okay. You have a kids club and uh, hang on, one of my favourite things of it is Happy Donkey, constipated Shrek. But yeah you can drop your kids off here, I think it's still about 5.30ish, I'm not too sure. My kids are 12. 15 and 23 so they're not going to use it waterfall nice uh, photo opportunity which a couple of the uh, women have been using thinking that the supermodels but the best part about that waterfall is at the back end of it there's a lovely bar schedule uh, it's up to you i'm going to just oh they uh, again I'm discovering stuff here babysitting service 15 pound an hour okay uh, what day are we on today? We are on Tuesday morning gym. Oh yeah, there's a fully stocked gym as well. Um, yeah, not going on that. Wednesday, Thursday. Daily schedule for the uh, kids club. Okay. Fish feeding. What? Oh, at the beach. Okay. Activities program. I'll be honest with you, we were here, we've been here for just under a week, we're going back tomorrow, last day is tomorrow, hence why I'm doing the video now. Um, we haven't done many activities, we've used this holiday just to get a bit of uh, chill out time. Right, we're going in. So this is the lower ground floor, you've got a stage there that they do karaoke on, things like that. Um, you've got some shops, which again... You know Turkey, you generally don't go shopping in a hotel. It's got the more expensive prices. That being said, if you want to come in, Euros is king here. We've tried Turkish Lira, they're not really interested in it. They will use it, but even though it's their national currency, they prefer the Euro. 
Um, if you're using pounds sterling, they'll just assume that five euros is five pounds. So if you're doing that, you'll end up paying more in the long run. You've got an arcade down here. Uh, credits for this. One credit is two euros or two dollars. 12 credits, 20 euro, 25, 40 euro. You've got bowling, you've got pool. This is a simulator that takes five credits per person who goes on it. So that's 10 euros per person on that. The rest of the things, all oh, right, it's one credit each. It's just an alternative if the kids get bored, uh, which they shouldn't do, but if they do, a few quid in here. I'll uh, just bolster the holiday out a bit, gives you a bit of peace and quiet. What I will say is it seems safe. I haven't had any safety issues here while we've been here. Um, so you're just as cautious as you would be anywhere else. Um, I say it's aesthetically quite pretty. There are a couple of areas that are looking a little bit tired, but I'm sure that this is open all year round and it gets absolutely hammered. So let's, let's have a look at the. Well, I can't film the bloody lift going up because unfortunately someone's just got in it and it'll look like I'm paving and I'm not. Well, am I? No, I'm not. Again, if you're look, already looking at this place online, you know how big it is. Um, this is like a map of the entire place. It is, it's huge. Um, it takes about a week to get to know everywhere, and as I've shown on this video already, you'll still discover places that you didn't know. Right, so this is the other side of the uh, waterfall, walking back down. So a floor shop there. They're selling old fakes. You know what turkey's about, but they've got it in the reds that everything's genuine. So they try. It's like 40 pounds for this, 50 pounds for that. So get a grip. I don't like haggling. My wife likes haggling. We'll go into a shop later to but do a bit of haggling on some trainers. But uh, this is the subway to the other side of the hotel facilities. It's actually quite cool. Again, on videos it looks spectacular. Here, looks a bit tired. Just needs a bit of TLC, I think. But, uh, still cool, nevertheless. So when you arrive, you get given um, towel vouchers. And you go into here, which is at the end of the subway, to uh, hand your vouchers in for, uh, sorry, your cards in for towels. And you hand them in before four o'clock, bless you. To get your cards back. You've got a Starbucks. Weird, again. Not all inclusive, you're paying for that. Ice cream, you're paying for that. That's uh, freshly made Turkish pancakes. So savoury pancakes. Uh, that's in the all inclusive. Right, so un under the... Uh, Subway. This is another pool. Again, you've got a bit of music around this one, so a bit, a bit more atmosphere. But it's rare that I see people, I've seen people in it. So it's definitely one of the quietest ones. Just to sort of give you a sense of what time of year it is at the moment. We came away on the Wednesday before Easter. Um, it's the Tuesday after Easter Monday now. The first few days were really quiet, quite nice actually. And then well, there's a games hut where you get all your footballs and what have you from. Another restaurant. Um, but as the week's gone on, it's definitely got busier and busier as you'd expect. The main restaurant can get quite crowded but there are loads to choose from. I think this is what people sort of struggle with understanding. You don't have to go to the main restaurant. All this lot, you got chicken kebabs, um, burgers, things like that. It's not, not the healthiest. You do have a salad bar here, which is nice. 
football pitch if your kids like kicking the ball around we'll move up on the promotional videos and on some of the videos that most of the videos I've seen on YouTube or I think it's Russian speakers things like that hence why I'm trying to do this video just to give you a bit of a overview of what we think it's like as um, British English couple whatever um, we, this has been opened on all the videos it seems to be shut off at the moment again I don't know whether it's permanently closed whether it's going to be cleaned and refurbed or anything like that or pulled down and replaced but you've just got the tape on uh, with no entry so a bit of a shame actually this doesn't take anything away from the uh, the overall place because there's still loads to do but you can't have too much on all of this you and the more places there are to do stuff the less crowded it becomes in one area this pool I don't think is in use but people are using it but no mind. they do have like a water sports thing we saw where's the infinity pool is that the infinity pool yes. that all right okay from this angle it doesn't look very infinity let's say um they've got paragliding there's somebody else on the water at the moment being pulled around in what I can only describe as a paddling pool <laughs> it's really not there's a couple of uh, jet skis been out not much going on this morning you've got two areas where you can see like the rocks it looks like it's a man-made uh, barrier um, they're your designated swimming points you've got one on this side and one on the other side of that pier that will be going down in a moment um, I'm not one for swimming in the sea because it's got fish in it I don't like anything I'm swimming past my toes while I'm swimming I've seen Jaws I'm a kid of the 70s now we'll move on new video started okay down the front I'm getting that one. You've got a lot of these beach cabins. Um, I think I've seen a sign saying it's about 30 euros to rent one out. And I suppose if you wanted to, that's fine. I personally don't see the need because there's lots of places to be. But it is quite nice. I mean, your own personal space. We've got a little sun spot here. Walk down onto the beach, but you can just walk down onto the beach anywhere. I don't know. I, I think it's probably for when it gets really crowded. I'm speaking as a person who's in here while it's uh, it's relatively quiet. There's a couple of these sprinkled about, like the Isle of Long Beach sign. So you can have your picture taken in front of it. Again, on the promotional videos and some of the videos that I saw seen online, um, you see a few people doing it. There's one which is just wings against the wall, and that is definitely the most popular one. I'll show you that in a bit. Oh, we'll cover the zip line as well. Hopefully somebody will be going down and I'm showing you it. So another snack bar. Um, again, this hasn't been open since we've been here. But it seems like this week more and more things are opening up and um, that'll be because obviously there's more and more people coming that makes absolute sense if you like a hammock that you're catered for I like this view of the hotel it looks like a little um, Bond villain sort of complex oh peacocks peacocks everywhere it's like, especially first thing in the morning, it's the closest you can get to living on a farm. You're walking up with cockerels on farms, peacocks here, and they don't half make a, a racket. It's not, not bad by any sense, but ugh. after a bit, you want to punch one. No, you don't want to punch anything. Be fine. Well, it's, it's okay. Artificial wave machine for surfing. Um, 
as dry as a nun at the moment so again another thing that might be coming on line at summertime I'm assuming there's some other stuff over there which we'll get to but we'll go down to the end of the pier I'm going to take a long walk off a short pier again sun worshippers it's going to love it here there's so many sunbeds I can't imagine how it could ever get full but who knows in the height of summer it might get that busy they're still going around on the uh, paddling pool more hammocks I'm seeing if I can see the outlet store there's an outlet store straight outside the uh, hotel but there's another one just round the corner if you go to the end of the street turn right it looks really impressive from the outside you go inside it's half constructed there's about five shops in and uh, again they all think they're designer brands genuine designer brands you can sort of see the out there's a couple of I'll see if I can zoom in there's a couple of little turrets there just beyond that this little red building it says outlet on the top that's the one that we went to yesterday I do a good deal, I do a good deal. How much is this? Oh, that's 50 quid. What? I can buy that in Britain for 20. Oh, no, you can't. All right, see you later. Like I said, I don't haggle. Um, if you like swimming in the sea, I've already uh, said that I don't, but if you do, little places that you step down onto the uh, platform there, you can either walk into the sea or jump off. Or there is a little platform here where you can jump off from. I'm hoping he's going to jump off. If not, I might push him just to see. Go on, go on. Do it. Do it. Do it. He's not going to do it, is he? I'm like, he's going to do it. He's going to do it. He's going to do it. Oh, he's not going to do it. I'm going to push him. Got a lifeguard there. Not so sure how that lifeguard's been there, but he looks like he's been there for the past 50 years. Don't drop your phone. Don't drop your phone. That's all right. More hotels down there. Mountains, all good. So there's them wings for the uh, Long Beach line. That's cool. Like I said, we've all had pictures done there. We've got uh, another vitamin bar, three to five euros, slushy, three to five euros, popcorn, three euros. If you want a spiralized potato and fried, it's three euros. Don't know why, but whatever. This is where you go to the uh, adventure park. <laughs> Yeah, it's these guys that are doing that. That's a peacock's arse. Fantastic. Turn around. Oh, apps. Proper buttholes they are. Um, you also get your zip line thing there. That's about 20 euros for the zip line. And 28 if you want to rent a, like a GoPro to film yourself every turn there's something to buy I've seen a few kids on this at night time it's like a um, what, what's the things called it in Britain when you're up in trees go ape. go ape yeah it's a bit like go ape but like a one if you bought it from Wish a uh, fish restaurant not open again the longer the week's gone on, the more things have opened up. Somebody snorting there, a little weird. Um, plenty of places to the beach. Tattoo studio. Who keeps asking you if you want a tattoo? Yeah, I'm kind of like, I'm struggling to deal with the sun. I think I'll just get a 
few needles in my arms and uh, see how that heals up. Get air braided. Air braided. Freakiest freaking mannequins in the world. Look at that. Oh god. We do a Halloween at our house. If you have a look at any of our videos, you'll probably see that. I would gladly put them on display. Um, I've had my finger in that shop for quite a long time, sorry. This is the fairground, it opens half past four to half past six, quarter to eight to quarter to nine. All inclusive, you're fine, don't have to pay for it. Really good. The other thing is though, with a big wheel, rather than sitting in anything, you've just got to hang on for your dear life. That's not true, they just haven't put the carriages on yet. Another bar, Dodgems, fantastic. Been on that, I haven't been on Dodgems for years. Came here, struggled to get me off. Now this is a place that we sort of spent most of our time. So sort I've of come down here, about 10-ish. Um, get a few beds, five of us, so I get five beds. And uh, get on the old water slides. That was nine water slides in total. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, nine. On this part, you've got some that you just slide down yourself, and then you've got the dinghy ones, which are awesome. This one, it's the smallest one of the lot, but yeah, puts your arse in your mouth a little bit. Oh. Down that one. Say about going on there, no. right in your bum. Yeah, this is the thing. Wife and myself have been on this a couple of times with the children, it's not just us. Uh, basically, your stomach goes up to your brain for the first half second, then you slide down. But if you're on it, look at these. Uh, Crates here. If you do not lift your butt no, off the floor, you're going to take a good half inch off your backside. You've got a small kids area over here. Again, slides, little pool, all heated. It's brilliant. It's fully catered for. Another bar, another place to get something to eat. Whistles. They love their whistles. He's up there. He's whistling away. Lifeguards love the whistles. That's pretty much from one side of the park to the other park. I think it's the bloody Alton Towers now. Oh, has somebody just gone up? Oh, yeah. Ah, damn it. They didn't scream. Braver than me. One second. Right, so, night time, usually about half past nine, as it has been recently. You can go into the amphitheatre and there's some sort of show on. We've had uh, Cuban dancing. To be honest, we've only come to a couple of shows, Cuban dancing, and then a Mongolian circus, which were acrobats and, and what have you. Why? Wife has no uh, boundaries. She's going to go straight in there and start performing. <laughs> all in all, if you have a holiday here, I don't think you'll be disappointed. Um, we booked for a week. And it costs us 2,600 for five of us. Again, we thought, what the hell? All these are going up in price. It's been well worth it. Been well worth it. We looked at coming back in August and the price has skyrocketed. So if you've got it for a reasonably cheap price, well done you. Um, like I say, if you think of bringing currency, Euro is king here. Do not pay in pounds sterling because you will not get ripped off, they just don't do... Oh, you, they'll, do, they'll not do the conversions. Um, let me see, the things that have affected us, Euros I've covered quite extensively now. If you don't like people walking in front of you and pretending you're not there, or barging past you, Turkey might not be the place. Okay. 
um, that's the biggest thing we've had and it's usually in a restaurant so if you're carrying a cup of coffee or something like that and someone just steps right in front of you or tries to walk through you or tries to walk through you yeah. by all means just chuck the coffee on them just chuck it on them it's fine I think in this culture it's a compliment but I'll be honest with you we're just splitting hairs we're going tomorrow we'd have gladly paid for another week to stop but we're not going to because one can't afford it to I think uh, both of our workplaces would be a little bit ticked off if we did that so I uh, might add some extra videos on there might be some different videos on my channel I don't know yet my channel get a grip right. might see you again might not if there's anything else that needs adding I'll add it later uh, so this is the last day we're getting picked up this afternoon I've uh, just been asking family <laughs> any advice for anyone who's coming over the main things is Euros like I've said God knows how many times on these videos uh, there's a safe in the room that you don't need to pay for it says you, it has a cost to it from all the literature it really doesn't you put a six uh, digit code in and that's yours. Oh, there's a fella over there. <laughs> Just filming, filming a random bloke for no reason. Uh, he want he, he complained about there's been no sound on the TV for the <sighs> for the cartoons. Get a grip. What I would say is medication. Bring medication over from like cowpaw, uh, anti diarrhea, pro diarrhea. <laughs> Any, anything that your body might go into a bit of a thing where it's like it's not used to the local cuisine temperature or whatever so bring everything you think you can think of in your suitcase it'll make it easier in the long run yeah better to have it not need it then that's it don't drink too much don't tell them how to make cocktails because they'll make them and Oh, you'll regret it the day after. Their, their measures are not the Turkish measures. I think if you've been to Turkey before, you know about Turkish measures. It's uh, yeah. and anything else that will find useful. Uh, um, sun cream after sun. Yeah, sun cream after sun. What lots of it? I'm gonna say there are there is a shop here that sells them things, so if you do find. Sure. There's a pharmacy that's open like an hour a day. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's a couple of pharmacies in the area. There's a doctor on site. Hopefully, you won't need it, but who knows? <coughs> it's near the gym. That's why we didn't see it because we're not going to the gym. I'm surprised. It, what I would say is on your first or second day see if you can track down what's going on for the week the uh, shows and what have you and it's always worth uh, how long were the shows for about half past nine at night yeah so but but uh, no i don't think you're an hour and a half it must be about 45 minutes to an hour something like that the one thing that we have noticed on one of the posters is every thursday there's going to be a phone party hang on there's <laughs> There we are. Right. There's a form party at the football pitch every Thursday afternoon. Now it didn't happen on the Thursday that we we came, so we've never been to it. But it's definitely something that I go for. <laughs> I'm not saying what's going on behind you. There's just there's a slim pawn lass in a bikini, just walk from behind you, walk to the bar and then walk back again. It wasn't intentional, I didn't arrange for that to happen. Me. <laughs> I'll watch it back on the video there to see if it's uh, see if it's overstepping the mark. But I found that disgusting. Sorry about that. <laughs> right, we're gonna go. We're getting picked up at uh, ten past five. Our flight's uh, quarter past nine. So, say bye bye, Jack. <coughs> You're looking miserable. He is. Huh? 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 Yeah.
Why have you not brought your sunglasses down? <laughs> this is what I've been dealing with all week. Right. Uh, oh. Say bye bye, Jack. Okay. Say bye bye, Jack. Okay. Say yeah. bye bye, Jack. <laughs>